Blessings of love, everyone. I'm so grateful that we all are deepening in the experience of Christ's love. Opening to the presence. Extending the presence. So grateful that we've had a Course in Miracles to guide us in coming to understand that consciousness is the domain of the ego and and yet we can have our mind trained through much mind training, much discipline of the mind to open up to right-minded thinking and then consistent habitual right-minded thinking and ultimately to the atonement or the correction in the real world, the happy dream of forgiveness. So let us inspire and live a life inspired by Christ. This is our energized living experience of the truth. This is our opening to the kingdom of heaven within. As you live the teachings of Jesus, you draw forth witnesses of devotion. It starts with study and application of A Course in Miracles. Really becoming clear of the divine principle that there is nothing outside of mind. Nothing to change on the screen of the world. Don't attempt to touch the dial on the world. The problem is not in the world. The problem is the wrong-minded thinking that produced the projected linear world. And it has already been forgiven through the Holy Spirit. Now, the only task remaining is to accept the atonement or correction. To see the perfection in all things, that all things do work together for good. To accept that there are no mistakes. There never has been a mistake in the world. It's just a mistaken thought of identity in the mind that has already been corrected. If you'd like to see an inspired world, then follow the inspiration within. There all perceptions merge together. There we experience the unified field. And it seems to take an effort to discipline the mind. As Jesus says, this is a course in mind training. And he reminds the reader that the untrained mind can accomplish nothing. He says, you are much too tolerant of mind wandering. And so, 
that we practice the workbook. That our mind may come in alignment with the Holy Spirit. That we may become right-minded and see the world anew. Consciousness is the domain of the ego, Jesus tells us in A Course in Miracles. Christ is beyond consciousness. Christ is an idea in the mind of God. Perfect love created in the will of God forever, untouched by error, completely abstract. In Christ there are no levels. Right-mindedness is our leaping off point. Just simply sees the false as false. No collective. No groups, ultimately no unconscious. Right-mindedness, the happy dream, seeing that you're the dreamer of the dream, fully aware, lucid, Brilliantly clear. It's spectacular. The atonement is the divine plan. Enter in through the holy instant. Seek not to find the solution in the words, but be willing to go beyond the words. Be still. Awake and be glad. Amen.